Hey everyone, it is Teacher Lude. Oh, I bet you didn't think I was going to say that. You probably were expecting to hear Josh. Um, but anyways, um, here is the next installment of our Disney collaboration tutorials um, based off of The Little Mermaid. Love it, love it, love it. And Leisha is such a perfect Ariel. I mean, come on, seriously. Seriously. Anyways. Um, since it's The Little Mermaid, my look is inspired by Ursula, the ever-awesome, powerful octopus of a sea witch. Love it, love it, love her. Amazing. Moving on. Um, but yeah, makeup's inspired by her. Um, so it's kind of dark, smoky. There's, like, a lot of gray, um, and black involved with a twist because I've been getting a lot of messages and people asking me, how I actually adhere glitter to my skin, so I thought I'd throw, blah, 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 blah. thought I would go ahead and throw that in. Um, I actually get glitter to stick and stay on. Um, so as you can see in the center of my lid, when I blink or close my eye, it is really, really shiny and looks wet, kind of. That's all with glitter, um, so you'll learn how to do that in this tutorial. Uh, but the very last thing before I actually start the tutorial, um, if you watch it all the way through, or just scroll to the end, it doesn't matter either way, just look at the end. Uh, I take this look, and I kick it up a notch to something that you would normally see me do if I were taking pictures or anything like that. So, here we go. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, our first step is going to be taking graffito paint, and then we're just going to apply that lightly all over the lid and extend it into the crease. Uh, I'm just going to use a 217 and work it a little bit, heat it up, and then just go ahead and apply. And once that's on, you can go ahead and just take your finger, if you want, or keep using the 217, and just lightly blend the edge up to your brow bone. And then it'll look something like that. Now I'm going to take Nauru eyeshadow, which is just the dark gray. It is that one right there. Just the dark gray, like borderline black. This is a palette of like my most used favorite colors, so that's why it's all scattered in together. Anyways, we're going to take our 239 brush and just load it up with Nauru, get a lot of product on there. And then just apply that all over your lid, and it'll look something like that. Then I'm just going to take my 217 again, and then I'm just going to lightly blend out that edge that's in the crease. And it'll look something like that. And then I'm pretty anal, so I'm just going to clean up the fallout right now. Now I'm actually going to do the bottom lid. Um, I, you'll probably notice I always do things different every time I do makeup. Depending on the look, it's going to depend on how I actually apply product. I can't find my C-line eye hole, so I'm going to use this little nub of smolder. And then I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny, tiny nub of a wing, so it'll look like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my 231, I think it is. Yeah, 231. The numbers are rubbed off, but any smudging brush will work. You could use a 219 or anything like that. And then I'm just going to soften up the smolder. I'll go to about right there, so it'll look like that. Then, just going to bring that nifty little trick into play using face powder to help blend it a little bit. I'm just going to brush it right into the edge. Okay, next we're going to take our 239 again, and we're going to get a little carbon on it. And then I'm just going to apply it on the lid, on the inner corner. So pretty much the inner third of the lid. And I'm going to do the same for the outer third of the lid. And the same thing goes for the crease. I'm just going to go ahead and put it into the crease very lightly. I'm not worrying about blending. I'm just getting that really, really intense dark color. So it'll look like that. Then I'll just go ahead with my 217 again, and now I'll blend out that line. Okay, now for the fun part. Since 
Ursula is an octopus, a, a sea witch, anything like that. Um, you'll notice most sea um, creatures have like an iridescence to their skin. So, I'm going to pull this from like the bottom half of her. She's got that black, like silky looking dress, bottom half, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, if anything black is wet, it's got that nice sheen to it. Um, and then also, like, shark skin, when you look at it, it's got that very, very cool iridescence to it. It's gray, but then it's got, like, this blue undertone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little Fix Plus and a good old, where is it, 252 brush. I'm just going to spray it. And then I'm going to take Vanilla Pigment, get a little bit on my brush, and then right in the center of my lid, I'm going to press it. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to brush off the excess, and then I'm going to blend out the edges. And I want the outer corner, I blended it a little bit too much, so quick fix, just going to go ahead with my 239 and some more carbon, and I'll just fix it. See, I make mistakes too. Now it looks like that. Much better. But I want to kick it up a notch. So I'm going to take water-based mixing medium. And then I'm going to use a 242. You can use the same 252. Just going to get a little bit of the mixing medium on my brush. And then I'm going to dip it in Reflex Transparent Teal Glitter. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not because in person you can see it. In most photos I see with it you don't see that much. But I'm just going to dip the brush in there take off the extra, and then again, right in the center of my lid, I'm just going to get it on there, pretty intense, and then very, very lightly blend out the edge, so it's going to be teal in the center of your lid, which is going to fade out to that iridescent pink, which will fade into the black and dark gray, so this is giving your eye that whole iridescent effect, like wet shark skin or an octopus's skin would have, or an octopi, actually no, because that's plural of octopus, so... I suppose was correct. Yeah. Either way, it's just gonna look freaking awesome. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Hope you guys can see the actual blue tint to it. If not, I'm sure you see the shine. It's pretty cool. Next, the brows. Or the part where I cut the camera and fill in my brows. Huh. Okay. Now that our brows are on, it'll look something like that. She's got pretty thin brows, so, again, I just switched up the shape of the brow. I do different brows in every video for the Disney chicks, divas, whatever you want to call them. Marvelous women, because I love them. Now, we're going to do our brow highlight. I don't know where I set anything today. I'm using an old, old, old MAC one. It's called Oceanique. And it's like that. It's like a light gray, but it's got a pink and green dual chrome effect to it, which is really, really cool. And then the name fits, Oceanique, Ocean, Under the Sea, hey, cha-cha. Um, <laughs> just going to use a 272. It's like a 239, only it's angled, for those of you who have never seen one, it looks like that. Then I'm just going to get a little on my brush, and then just going to apply a little, little bit of it underneath the brow. Have that. Mm, love it! Now, you can go ahead, do your lips, um, do red if you want to like, do the whole Ursula shebang, like, 100%. Um, nude would go really good with a dark eye like this, or even something that's got a slight, slight color to it, like, you could do a light purple or, like, a light pink, anything like that. But that pretty much completes the look. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something a little different. Okay, as you can see, I really, really turned up the dial on this side by, like, 20 notches. And then on this side, you can see all I did was winged out the liner a little bit more. reason I did this is to just show you, you can take any of the looks anyone does on YouTube for a tutorial, and you can pretty much adjust it to better fit your own needs. You don't have to do everything like we do. Um, you can tone it down, you can add some liner, use different colors, or just go crazy with it like I did on this side. Woo! Amazing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will talk to all of you soon. Bye!